Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the next installment for Claire's Project Pan weekly makeup basket thing. I'm doing like an introduction type thing and I did ask a couple of times did you guys want to see it this way where I talk to you or did you want to see it top down? One person said they wanted to see it top down just to see what it looked like and then they could decide which one they preferred. So that's what this is. I'm going to do it top down, I'll talk to, talk you through, show you the basket and then I'll come back and give a conclusion. Okay, so this is everything that I'm working with. I'm really sorry if this next bit is a bit jumpy. I don't have a stand or anything for my phone just yet. So I'm doing this freehand and it could get messy. I do apologise ahead of time. I've got my box ready to go, I'm just going to start pulling things and putting them in the box. First things first is primers. I'm putting these two back in. These are the two baby skin. One is the Instant Fatigue Blur and the other one is the Instant Pore Eraser. So they can go in. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, uh, the Matte and Poreless version. I'm in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. This is the only foundation that I have at the moment, so that can go in the box as well. And this is the LO OCC Lip Tar Primer. Yeah, this is the only lip primer that I have, so that can go in also. Concealer-wise, I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is nearly, nearly done. I've taken the stopper out of this and everything, so that needs to go back in. I also have the NYX. This is the, what is this? Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. Um, I have these two, this one is the LOC One and Done Shadow Stick in Out of Your Shell and the other one is the Model Co More Brows in Medium Dark. This one I use for my brow bone highlight and this is my current brow product that I'm using so they can go in. And this is the mascara that I'm using, this is the Model Co Mega Lash Mascara. Bronzers then, I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish Soft Colour Blush in Bronze. I've got a decent amount of pan on that, I'm still going to work. I want to get that done by the end of the year, so. And I have the NYX Mosaic Blush in Plummy. I also want to get this out by the end of the year as well. That's what that one looks like. Okay, I have the Lord & Berry Concealer Pencil. I want to get that finished up. And this BB cream I use for the days where I don't want a fuller coverage or days that I'm at work. Um, so that can go in. This is the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. I will put that in. And this is the Laura Mercier setting powder. I will put that in as well. L'Oreal True Match Lumi is the liquid highlight that I'm using right now. And this is the... MUA Undress Your Skin Highlight in Iridescent Gold. Before I had in the NYX one, this one, yeah, the NYX Illuminator in Ritualistic. Um, let's see. They're both very, very similar. It's just which one do I want to focus on? I'm going to put the NYX, the NYX one back in because it's in my Halloween project and although it's clear that I'm never going to finish this by the Halloween project finale, it will be good to get some use out of it while it's still in a project. So, so this can come out, these two can come out, that can come out, that can come out, that can come out, that can come out because I've got items for all of those. And I'm just going to shuffle everything up. And I'm going to shuffle myself up. Over here we have the MUA eyeshadow palette in Romantic Efflorescence. This is in my Christmas project pan. So I'm going to put this back in. I know I've just taken it out. But I want to focus on that dark shadow. In terms of... Uh... Okay, let's, let's look at these for a minute and that one that could definitely come out this I got out because I was playing around with it so that's not even a thing um, and that's that one as well so I have these five eyeshadows I think I'm gonna do two I did two last time but I think I'm gonna do two again um, I'm gonna do these two this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow in Suspect and this is the NYX Hot Single in Sex Kitten and both of these are in projects as well, so I want to get some use out of those. Um, do I want to put a palette in? 
I want to put the Vice 4 back in because I'm panning one of the shades in here and I'll use it to set my um, eyeshadow primer. It's just this one here. So that one can go in. I don't mind my foot. Um, I think I'm going to put this one in. This is the Sleek Vintage Romance palette. Sorry, doing this one handed is not easy. So that's what it looks like. Um, I'm really focusing on this shade right now. Um, I use this to deepen up the crease and this shade as well. Um, I really enjoy this purple shade, so yeah. Okay, so lips then. The PS Love Lip Liner is going back in. Um, I have the Marcel Eyeliner. I want to finish this up. I just put this in my um, Turn and Burn, so I'm going to put that in there. These eyeliners can go over there. They can go over there. This I'm probably going to put back in. This is the W7 Lipstick in Pumpkin Pie. I know this has been in for ages. All of these items have been in for ages, but right now I'm trying to focus on getting as much of the Halloween stuff finished as possible before that project ends, um, and it, it will be ending soon, so I'm going to put that one in. And I'm also going to put in this one. This is the uh, Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil in Satan. I really, really enjoy this. This is a really nice red colour, so I'm going to put that in as well. Oh, and for eyeshadow base, I'm still using the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide-On Eye Pencil in Trick. So, um, so that's everything in my box. Look at my slippers. Aren't they cool? Yeah, so that's everything that's going in this week's basket. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this new top-down sort of situation. Let me know which you prefer in the comments. Give your feedback. I'm really, really open to feedback. I want to give content that you guys enjoy watching, so please let me know which way you prefer. Was this way good? Was the old way good? Who knows? Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.